Hey guys, this is Balu from Balu Prime and once again welcome you all back for an exciting tutorial. In this tutorial I will show you how we can create this kind of zigzag sliding door animations in Blender easily. So hope you guys will find this tutorial useful but before going to that if you end up liking this video please click on that like button to share this content and if you are new to this channel consider subscribing my channel and support me. And by the way if you like short 3D simulation videos you can check out my second channel link in the description. So now without any further ado let's start today's video. So here I'm using Blender 3.3, nice. So first of all, let's select the camera and light in the scene. Let's delete them. Now select the cube, press S and Y to reduce the scaling in Y axis and S, Z and increase the scaling in Z axis here like this, okay? So let's select this move tool and let's place this just above to the grid here, nice. So in order to make this zigzag pattern sliding door animations we need to have this pivot point at this corner so let's do that so press tab on the keyboard being selected this object press tab on the keyboard for edit mode select this vertex selection and select this below to vertex here so after that press shift plus s and select this cursor to select it now you can see the origin point is moved to here now again press tab to exit that edit mode now go to this object set origin origin to 3d cursor now the pivot point is moved to this position nice so let's duplicate this objects here before that we need to apply the transform so if i press n on the keyboard you can see the values here first we need to apply these transform options so being selected our object go to this object apply and apply all transforms so now it is okay so now this pivot point is moved to center let's fix that again so here the origin point is at this corner only so let's go to the object set origin origin to 3d cursor okay so now let's duplicate the object here so shift plus d now press x on the keyboard to move in x axis so you place this here just side to this after that shift plus r to repeat this old action okay so let's add few things so i think this is fine so now select this first object here come to this constraint properties add object constraint before to that let's lock the rotation in x and y so that if we rotate this it will be rotating in only z axis here okay we want that only so lock x and y after that select the first object come to this constraint properties add object constraint and select this limit rotation so if you want to limit the rotation you can enter this maximum or minimum value here i am not entering those values and here change this one or two local space so now if i press r you can see it is rotating in z axis on nice now select the second object come to this object constraint properties add object constraint and select this copy rotation so now in target we will be selecting this first one so select the first one so here we want this rotation to be in reverse direction so for that we will be adding or we will be enabling this invert z axis click on this z axis after that hold shift key and select this first one now press ctrl plus p and select this second option that is object keep transform so now if i select this first object and if i rotate this you can see the second object will be rotating so now select the third object come to this object constraint properties add object constraint and select this copy rotation now we will be selecting this second object so select this second object now we want this rotation to be inverted of this second object so for that we will be enabling this invert option along z axis after that we will be parenting this so hold shift key and select the second object now ctrl plus p and select this keep transform object so now if i select this first object and if i rotate this you can see we are getting that zigzag pattern so in the same way we will be doing for the rest of this object so select this fourth one add copy rotation target now select the third one enable this z axis invert now hold shift key and select the third one ctrl plus p object so in this way i will be doing all these things and later i will show the result so now i have added this copy rotation option to all these objects so now if i select this first one and if i rotate this you can see we got that zigzag sliding pattern animation here so in this way we can do this pattern sliding door animations in blender easily so hope you guys have learned something new from this tutorial if you have learned anything new please like share and subscribe my channel to support me so I'll meet in the next video. Until then, signing off. Take care. Bye.